Welcome back, Southern Indiana Combat Production fans. I'm Gina Lucille, and joining me today is our co-main event for March 4th in Evansville, Indiana, Zach Davis. Thanks for being here today. Uh, I'm so excited to be here for another interview. Can't wait. Yeah. All right, guys, this is Zach Davis, Cadillac, the BMF. That's me. I'm That's here, you. But- so tell us, you know, you're our co-made event. How, you know, how have you been training for this? Are you excited to be back for Southern Indiana Combat Productions or what? I'm so excited. Like ecstatic right now. Actually, I'm, I'm more excited to get the weight cut over with um, and then get there for the weigh-ins Friday. But yes, uh, me and two other people off the card actually have been put in a, a hell of a camp. Uh, me, Daniel Hudson, and Tave Lewis, the main event. Um, and we've been training pretty well nonstop. I think we've maybe only had a day off a week, every week, you know, so we've been at it. I mean, that's what true pros are supposed to do, you know. I mean, obviously, your record, you're um, five and three. Is that right? Correct. Yeah, you're five and three. You're a tough guy. I mean, you're you're really you're a really super tough guy, especially from your last fight. <laughs> yes. That was, a, that was a great fight. That was an awesome fight. And kudos to uh, Chance Beck for stepping up and taking it on a on such short notice as well. Yeah. No, he had a great time. I'm, I'm glad he did. I'm, I'm super excited for him as well. I know that's oh, yeah. hubby and everything, but I'm super excited for him and his, his future and everything he's got coming his way. Well, you know, it's, it's huge respect to your opponents because without them, you couldn't have the career that you're having, you know? So it's, that's the, that's the true community of the fight game. It really is. And it's, you're fighting, a, a, you, you fight somebody and then it's like, man, this guy's actually pretty cool. Like, we could be really good friends. I know. Like we could have a beer after this. Yeah. Like, we're good to go. Yeah. So with that being said, what do you how do you feel about your opponent going into this fight? Um I feel really confident. I've I've set up a really good game plan, I think. I've I've watched a couple of his fights and that's that's one thing I, I don't like to do is that a lot of people are like, Have you studied him? You know, all this and you know, I, I'll go in and I'll watch the first couple minutes of every round of the couple fights that you have just so i can see your tendencies because fighters change you know but tendencies always stay there how you start the fight how you come out the second round third round etc so i i've watched a couple of his fights and i think i've got a, a few of his tendencies down we'll see and um the game plan will unfold on saturday that's awesome and let's talk about southern indiana combat productions you know you were the main event for their first ever fight. How was your experience with them as a new promotion? Um, honestly, it's probably one of the better promotions I've ever fought for. The way they take care of you, make sure that everything's set up, um, and just the talent that they have on the card as well. Not every promoter can get all of that talent that was put on at Sickbo One um, to even step foot in the cage. You know, sometimes you'll have your fresh out of high school somebody that thinks they can fight or somebody fresh off the streets that think they can fight the promoter's like yeah we'll give you a chance you know and it should have never even did that to begin with but i'm just i'm head over heels for scott arnold and sigma as how they take care of everything it's it's awesome i love it you've got to lewis and i'm supposed to speak with him later on this evening how has it been um training with these guys like the confidence level having that going into a fight like this listen so anybody that knows anything about me fighting is i love to stand up i'm a stand-up fighter but this fucker to lewis has turned me into some kind of wrestler type deal because he's like no, we're going to do some wrestling drills, wrestling drills, wrestling drills. I'm like, I hate it, but hey, it's it it evolves your game, and I love it. I love having the, the people here in our location to, to help push you and, and put you over the edge because it's, you know, you're an hour and a half into training, and you're dead, and it's like, oh, my gosh, and, you, and your buddy's like, come on, motherfucker, push yourself through that shit, and you light that second fire underneath you, and you get through the next fucking hour of training or whatever you got going on. Man, I mean, you guys are working so extremely hard, and you can tell that in your records. Where do you find yourself going in the next two years? I want to see some big lights, bigger lights than what I'm seeing. I want to see big lights. I want to either UFC, Bellator, something. I mean, I'll fight Jake Paul. Shit. 
give me this some kind of lights and some give money. me some big money give me some big <laughs> money yeah what um what what are your favorite um oh man i'm getting so many messages right now it's like <laughs> i'm so sorry what what's your favorite thing about the sport of mma um between the competitive competitiveness and respect uh probably one of those two because just being a competitor i like to compete and seeing somebody else across the cage from you obviously they're a competitor as well it's just and, and then the respect you know um you'll have some people that are disrespectful and then you'll have that and uh you have to shut them up or or they just keep talking you know right but yeah probably competitiveness and respect those, those are my two things i love about this sport yeah. And how did you get this name, the cat, like Cadillac? Where did that come from? I was going to ask you last time I saw you, but I was like, where, where did this come from? You show up, you got your wig on, you're called the Cadillac. Like what, what's that all about? <laughs> so early on in my career, uh, amateur wise, I was fighting back home. And one of the guys afterwards, I got done fighting, got out and was talking to the couple guys in the crowd or whatever, this old man juiced up, you know, a few beers in or whatever. He came over, he's like, Man, you you look good in there, man. You fucking nice and smooth, man, like a fucking Cadillac or something. And I was like, hey, I, I like it. Zach the Cadillac got a little ring to it. I'm I'm rolling with it. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, you can have it. Go ahead. So I, you can have it. Like, what are you gonna do? Take yeah, it away from me? <laughs> yeah. I, so I, I I've stuck with that and rolled with it. That's awesome. I know. I always like to, you know, nicknames are given to you. You can't really create your own nickname. Yeah. What have been like? What have been some challenges? MMA and any type of athletic, you know, sport fighters, athletes—they always have challenges ahead of themselves. And you've been doing this for quite a long time. What are some? What are some challenges that you faced, and um, and how have you overcome those? I mean, honestly, challenges-wise is just staying healthy and injury-free during training. Um, one of the bigger challenges, I guess, I could say early right before i went pro i was stabbed five times and had my quadricep cut completely in half so they had to go in stitch that back together and then over time it it, it was probably about six months i was out and as soon as i could get back into it i started getting into it and rehabbing it and doing everything like that but that was probably one of the bigger bigger uh aspects that i had to overcome and that did not happen in the cage. What girlfriend did you make mad? No, I'm just kidding. No, it was uh, in a drunken bar fight. And that's mm -hmm. why I stay away from that scene. I don't, you know, you mature as you get older. You're like, yeah, it was fun going out while you're younger. But there's not, nothing really out there anymore. And nowadays people are, it's, they want to shoot you now. So, right. Uh, Especially if you're a fighter, you know, if you have any type of cauliflower <laughs> ear, they like take that. You, it's either a warning label or it's some drunk guy goes, hmm, I want to test my abilities with this guy, you know? I hate that so much. And you'll find that all the time. Yeah. Well, you're married now. So how long ago was this? Was this not? <laughs> um. So, well, we've been married for two years, but been together for 12. Wow. Um, so back in 2013, 2014, I was stabbed somewhere in there. Yeah, I just got stabbed. No big deal. Oh, oh, oh and to do another one. And so this <laughs> kind of took away from training as well. Um, Valentine's Day, I can't remember the year, probably five, six years ago, I had my ear bitten off uh, the top of my ear. Some guy was breaking into my wife's car. Um, early in the morning before work and I got up, went out, thought she had just went out before me or whatever to start the car because I seen the dome light on and I'm like, what the hell? So I get around the car and as I look in the car, it's not her. It's somebody hunched over in there, digging through there. And I come around and I try to scare him, thinking he's going to jump out and take off running. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? And he bounces out and he's probably 6'3". Uh, six four bigger than i am he's so he's looking down at me and i'm like great here we go it's already five o'clock in the morning and something's about to happen so he starts to charge me 
Um, and this was after being stabbed. So I'm backing up, checking his hands, making sure, you know, he ain't got nothing in his hands. Puts his hands up, and I'm like, oh, okay, that's what you want to do. So we go at it for about three or four minutes. Roll, I hit him a couple times, hip tossed him in the front yard. We roll around, and I'm we're laying next to each other. And got him held, and he's holding me, and I'm like, what in the fuck are you doing? He's like, oh, I thought I was pranking uh, one of my friends for Valentine's Day. And I'm like, I let him go. I'm like, I'm going to let you go. Now just get the fuck out of here. He gets up, walks back to the car and proceeds to go back to it. So then I just run over Superman, punch him, hit him to the neighbor's yard. He lands on the, on the, uh, damn van punching him. He grabs me, spins me around. So I reach over and overhook him and pull him into me and him being taller. So he's right here. By this time, my wife comes out. I'm like, call the fucking cops, get him over here. And as soon as I say that, boom, he bites on my ear. And I, so I, I told you prior to this that I've been stabbed five times. When I say there's no worse feeling than having your ear bit off, there's no worse feeling than having your ear bit off. That shit hurt so bad. And then that I had a fight lined up around that time frame. So that put me back on that. And I couldn't end up not being able to fight. Um, and so <laughs> you got Mike Tyson. <laughs> I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Oh, dear Jesus. Well, thank God that that's not allowed in the cage. <laughs> Go to somebody else. <laughs> right. So how has this wake up been for you? Because what do you what do you usually walk around at like 196? One. Yeah, somewhere in there. Somewhere around there. 95, 96, somewhere on the mm -hmm. hand, usually 190. Mm -hmm. So it's not been going, uh, or it's not been going, it's been going all right. Hasn't really hit the drastic measures yet. Yes, I love food and I love to eat anything and especially sweets. So I can't do any of that right now. So I'm, I'm kind of hangry and my wife knows. She's like, I hate when you cut weight. I walk on eggshells around the house. She, she'll go eat somewhere else. I'm like, listen, you don't have to go that far and go and get something to eat. You can eat here. I know you have to eat. It's all right. Like, I know you have to eat. <laughs> yeah. Aww. So, I mean, it's, it's going all right. Um, when what a great partner though. Like what a great wife to, you know, just, just think of that kind of stuff too, because I mean, I, you know, I'm a fighter's wife as well. I've been an athlete, so I, I get the whole cutting weight aspect of it. And it does suck, though. Like, when you're cutting weight and you just smell that pasta, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, that, that Alfredo that, you know, your partner's eating and you're just like, man. <laughs> but it's only like, it, you know, it, it only lasts for a little while, this cut weight stuff, you know. And I can't. At least I'll still be able to eat right now and have my little snacks and this and that. Right. Um, Thursday when I stopped the whole just eating and drinking for 24 hours and it's like I'm on the phone with Scott first thing in the morning hey can I fucking weigh in early like there yet can they see me on the scale <laughs> just and so Scott I always has they always have food prepped for you guys too how awesome is that no mission barbecue I actually reached out to them because last time they were there uh Matt Hughes had his own special ribs and I'm like, okay, barbecue place. Maybe they'll have some ribs. We get there, pulled pork, pulled chicken. Hey, I'm not complaining. All good. But I wanted some ribs, too, because it's barbecue. I'm like, <laughs> hey, how you get them ribs over there? He's like, you want them? You got to come fight me. I'm like, uh, you can keep them. So I reached out to him. And I was like, hey, what do I have to do to get the uh, special order Matt rib or Matt Hughes ribs? And they hit me back up. And I don't know if they kind of took my... I think they thought that I was there in town then, but I was like, hey, you guys actually uh, catered the last weigh-ins. What do you think about bringing me some ribs? Yeah. <laughs> I'm still waiting for a response. So, Oh, we're going to have to hit them up and get you some ribs. Damn dog. <laughs> I know. I know. Doing all these interviews at home, I got my dog here. Got my husband <laughs> over here. Got UFC fights muted over here. The whole 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 she shebang doing these um doing these online interviews, but I like it. It's nice to get be able to catch up with you guys and and um, shit, man. With that being said, thank you for being here. 
Yeah, I love it. Appreciate it. Thank you for reaching out. I, I was starting to get a little like felt left out, you know? Like, oh, no. well, we can't leave Cadillac out, <laughs> man. <laughs> we have um, we have a breakdown uh, that'll be releasing, so you'll be featured in that since you're a returning fighter and. You know, all the guys at Southern Indiana Combat Productions, they're really grateful to have you on on the card. You know, very talented fighter. So, yes. Looking forward to it. Can't wait to see you again. Can't wait to have Chance call the fights. It's going to be I awesome. know. Isn't that going to be fun? <laughs> oh, it is. It is. Yeah. So, Zach, thank you so much for being here, and um, we'll see you on the fourth. All right. Have a good one. You too.